104.7, The Cave, plays pure classic rock. 104.7, The Cave, Mike and Megan in the studio today. Another edition of Online Reviews. As always, the lawyers would like me to tell you these are not our views as a station or company, merely reviews posted by random people online. Megan ever gets to see what we're actually reading reviews about until I hand her the sheets that I have prepared. It's all part of the fun. <laughs> it is all part of the fun. That's right. Today we are reviewing the Play Mobile security checkpoint. You don't know the Play Mobile like toy stuff for kids and stuff? No. Uh, what? No. Have, is it Play Mobile? I think that's how you say it. Is it Play Mobile? Is that Play Mobile? Right. Oh, oh, yeah. You know okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So it's like it. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah. See, the guy, you see the person <laughs> with the it, suitcase. It's like TSA. Then yeah, like. <laughs> it's basically a TSA checkpoint <laughs> for kids oh to play. What? Because when I grow up, I want to be a TSA agent. Or, or I want to prepare you kids for what's coming for you the next time you fly. Get ready to spread them and get ready to get oh checked gosh. down. It's so terrible. It's awful. It really That's is. the last time you flew. The last time I flew, oh gosh, it's been a minute actually. I'd say, oh, for my brother's wedding in Florida, and that was a nightmare going through Orlando. Yeah, like it's totally fine here. Like, like nobody. That's not bad going out of Springfield. Um, Kansas City's not bad going out either. Mm -hmm. One time, (laughs) I was going to see my mom in Denver (laughs) by myself, (laughs) and I and I and for some reason they just kept delaying and delaying. They wouldn't Mm -hmm. say why, so I just kept getting more and more way (laughs) way (laughs) trashed. I was sitting there in the in the airport, and it was when I smoked. And uh, I actually made friends because you to leave the areas, you have to go back through security, right? You know, right? Yeah. Check down every time. And I was wasted, and I was like, I want to smoke a cigarette, but I want to get out of here. Spent like at least a hundred dollars just on booze alone that day. Oh my god! Because <laughs> like, so, they're like but, ten dollars a beer this, there. Get this. So then I made friends with the lady who was holding like the emergency door, and so I I was just bypassing security, and I'd be like, she let me in, which hopefully I don't get in. <laughs> but anyway, that happened, and then we they finally are like, all right, let's get everyone on the plane. We're like, yeah, and I'm wasted. Oh, my gosh. They get us on the plane, and they go, okay, the uh, technical issue was the fact that the bathroom is out. Um, just because it's to Denver, we're going to fly anyway because it's normally an hour and a half. My eyes just went straight white. My whole body lost all of its no. color. And by the time that we got to Denver, everyone around me knew what was going on. They could just see my face, and I was dying. This is a, one of the coolest like human spirit stories because when we landed, everyone parted for me. And I was just like... Ooh. When I, I remember running down that, running down the... You had, like, the, the emergency slide ready to go. You're like, out. You're like, you're like, oh, but it, I almost didn't inflated. make it. I remember running down the hall in, in Denver International, and, like, my tunnel vision, it was like I was almost to the point of having either a stroke or a heart attack. And by the time I got there, I was like, everything was just like, boom, boom, boom. It was like, an, it was like a drug experience, honestly. So oh, bad. man. You poor thing. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the task at hand here, which is reading reviews about the Play Mobile security checkpoint. I will give you the short one since I took up all the time. Go ahead. Here we go. Title is Realism. This is a wonderful toy, save for one minor flaw that renders it unrealistic as a true representation of passing through airport security. The Play Mobile people are all smiling. Very true. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> Title, teach them to submit to the will of the Big Brother. <laughs> teach them to submit to the will of Big Brother at an early age. That's how we will breed a generation of auto, auto maidens for the NWO. New, New World, World Order. Order. <laughs> <laughs> Title, okay, toy, if you're not in a hurry. My family is a 21st century family, always on the move, go, go, go. This toy would be fun, except we never have the time to play with it. Playmobile suggests getting the toy out of the box two to three hours before you plan on playing with it. <laughs> Which was hard to do the first time without anything sharp to cut open the wrapping and by the t- <laughs> By the time we're ready to play, we have to run to catch our ride. That's fantastic. Title is an excellent toy, but this is an excellent start to show. This is an what? Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is an 
This toy is an excellent start to show children and adults alike how to move through TSA security checkpoints properly. However, I'd like to see a Portland, Oregon version of this toy <laughs> complete with a naked adult Caucasian male. <laughs> <laughs> With his hands in the air surrounded by airport <laughs> We'll get to part two on the way next on 104.7 The Cave. 104.7 The Cave, Mike and Megan in the studio again. Another edition of our segment online reviews. Basically, the lawyers would like me to tell you these are not the reviews of us as a station or company, merely those from random people. Today, we are talking about reviews of the Playmobil security checkpoint. Yes, they made a toy to make you feel like you're going through security at the airport. Megan. All right. <laughs> Get away. Yeah, sounds fun. Let's go play. Title, Great Lesson for the Kids. <laughs> I was a little disappointed when I first bought this item because the functionality is limited. My five-year-old son pointed out that the passenger's shoes cannot be removed. Then we placed a deadly fingernail file <laughs> underneath the passenger scarf, and neither the detector doorway or nor the security wand picked it up. My son said, that's the worst security ever. <laughs> But it turned out to be okay because with the, when the passenger got on the Playmobil B750, B757 and tried to hijack it, she was mobbed by a couple of other heroic passengers who only sustained minor injuries in the scuffle, which retreated at the Playmobil hospital. The best thing about this product is that it teaches kids about the realities of living in a high surveillance society. <laughs> That's a write up. <laughs> Title, not complete without the line. This toy would be a lot more realistic with about 350 people standing in line for an average of an hour. It still makes a nice set with the interrogation room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Title, no longer available. Get it now as soon as... Get it now as it will soon no longer be available. TSA has requested that this product be removed from the market. It was deemed a security risk. <laughs> as it virtually identical to the actual training material used to train TSA agents. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine them? You gotta watch this like no. video and they're like, okay, now we're gonna go to hands-on training and put you in a room and then this toy's just sitting there. It's like the little table. cabbage patch dolls, like I'll just okay. like trying to get through. For example, if a guy walks up to you, <laughs> no, there's like no. Oh my god! They give you the toy wand. I don't know. Mine's broken. I don't know. Does it have batteries in it? Just make the make the noise with your mouth. Just <laughs> Already looking for a replacement. Had this item three or four days now, and things were going fine until some of the passengers became complaining of missing items from their luggage. <laughs> I found the items in my Playmobil security manager's office, which I hadn't realized I ordered. <laughs> I'm thinking of complaining to the mobile shop steward, but I'm not sure it'll get anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to the conclusion on the way next on 104.7 The Cave. 104.7 The Cave, Mike and Megan in the studio today. Another edition of Online Reviews, as always. And in conclusion, the lawyers, we don't get sued. <laughs> can't afford it. Uh, want us to tell you that these aren't our views as a station or company. And today we are reading reviews of the Playmobil security checkpoint that has unfortunately since dis been discontinued by the manufacturer. Should you hear these reviews and you want to purchase this for your child for Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever it is you celebrate, this is not, probably not a good toy to buy. Well, I mean, just contact the city, I'll build one. Yeah, you probably. could. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they've got it. It's crazy because they got it on here for two hundred and fifty dollars, oh, which to me, I same. think it's just because it's been discontinued. Oh, for sure. There's, it's gonna, it's a collector's item. It's a collector's <laughs> item. Some nerd. There's a guy. There's a guy with it in the packaging, and he's just, you know, they got. He's like got issue number five of Superman sitting there. This really crazy autographed Star Trek beer mug with the uh, Leonard Nimoy signature on there, and, and the, then the, and play the Star Wars jacket. He's got the Star Wars. <laughs> He's got a Michael Jackson glove on, just one, <laughs> and he's got the Playboy, Playmobil sh security Playboy. check, Playboy, Playmobil security checkpoint, boxed up. <clears throat> I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> read these reviews. Future potential. This toy is a wonderful start, but I think expansion packs would really increase the enjoyment. Could you imagine the fun kids could have with the mother forced to drink bottled breast milk to prove it's not explosive expansion? 
DLC, man. It's all about no. DLC. No. <laughs> Though, what do you mean I'm on the no-fly list and especially the body cavity search? Wait, what, Seth? <laughs> Title, Poor Durability. I purchased the UK spec for this toy. It's identical to the USA version, but the border agents carry limp celery sticks. <laughs> limp celery sticks instead of goods. I was sadly disappointed to find that the first time I combined it with the Kale... Kale... <laughs> I don't know, the illegal immigration set. <laughs> the scanner failed, and I now have 8,000 unregistered aliens in my child's toy box claiming asylum. Please rectify <laughs> Sounds like they got more than they paid for. I don't know, for 250 bucks, though. <laughs> this is a steep price. Security guards, not fat enough. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, these are not our views or your reviews. You're going to get an airport security guy leaving me a very angry, long message. We'll uh, never fly again. We're on the no-fly list. I learned the lesson. I was talking trash on the Raiders. I got, like, 20 voicemails about it. I couldn't believe it. I was like, what? What do you think I'm going to do? I'm a Chiefs fan. I hate those guys. Call me and complain all you want. They suck. Chiefs rule. End of story. I'm going to read this review now. <laughs> when does the expansion come out for the full body scanner? I noticed that none of their figures will be able to stand in the appropriate pose to actually be scanned. At the cost of over $200 in climbing, it is just like the prices of an actual ticket to one of the awful airlines. <laughs> We should take notice of this product as it has a list of contents. Using this with your luggage while going through a real scanner could be quite helpful in retaining your possessions. <laughs> That's fantastic. Title, and does not respond just like the real checkpoint at the airport. <laughs> airport. Very realistic. Went very, re very realistic. When I talk to the agent, he just stares blankly at me and does not respond just like at the real <laughs> checkpoint at the airport. Please also know that the playset is one out of six of uh, one sixteenth scale, meaning the liquids over 0.19 ounces get confiscated <laughs> and sold on the black market playset. <laughs> oh, last one. Career upgrade. My kid has so much fun playing <laughs> that he gave up his dream of becoming a dog food tester. <laughs> <laughs> I, love it. I think I could kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I, I've always heard that you can eat cat food but not dog food. I don't know where I heard. I've heard. Anyway. I've, I mean, people have tricked other people into eating dog food. Yeah, that's not unheard of. Yes. Uh, you can't survive <laughs> off of it. Um, anyway, uh, thank you, Megan. This is online reviews and survival tips on 104.7 The Cave. One hundred four point seven. The cave plays pure classic rock.